It is possible that Kang will appear in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in several different variations. A trailer for the first Phase 5 film of the MCU was released on October 25, 2022, showing Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, a variant of He Who Remains from Loki. The multiverse in the MCU means the Avengers will have to fight many different versions of Kang, leading up to the climactic Avengers. Towards the end of Phase 6, so speculation is raging about which version of the villain will debut in Ant-Man 3. There have been variations on the character since 1963, when Ramatut, a variant of Kang, first appeared in Fantastic Four 19, while the original villain was introduced in The Avengers 8. However, Majors portrayed he who remains in Loki, the man behind the TVA, setting the character up to be the next major MCU villain after Thanos. During an interview with Men's Health magazine, Majors and Strength and Conditioning coach Jamie Sawyer hinted that he would appear in Quantumania as a warrior variant of Kang the Conqueror, suggesting that this isn't the same character audiences have already been introduced to. Kang could appear in many different versions within the MCU, but the warrior teaser for Quantumania narrows down which version viewers will see next. Nathaniel Richards, a descendant of Reed Richards, the creator and leader of the Fantastic Four, was born in the 31st century. Nathaniel becomes obsessed with having a command over time after Victor Von Doom develops time travel travel technology. After traversing various timelines, he settles on a dystopian future Earth, where he reinvents himself as Kang the Conqueror and hatches a plan to dominate the galaxy and time. In spite of his lack of superhuman abilities, Kang the Conqueror is an intimidating enemy to the Avengers and the Fantastic Four thanks to his extraordinary intellect, high tech suit, and time ship that allows him to gather technology and weaponry from any era. As a result of a quantum entanglement, this version of Kang was later revealed to have been attached to Doctor Doom. It's possible that this is the variant introduced in Quantumania because Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, was tethered to Janet Van Dyne during Ant-Man and the Wasp in a quantum entanglement. Majors and Sawyer pointed out that Kang the Conqueror is a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant, which supports the warrior variant comments. It seems likely that Marvel Studios would want to introduce the Conqueror variant of Kang first, especially considering he was already mentioned during He Who Remains monologue in Loki. Marvel Comics introduced Ramatut as the first variation of Kang, a version of the character who ruled ancient Egypt after traveling back from the 31st century with Doctor Doom. In addition to ruling the ancient Egyptians, Ramatut had a conflicting relationship with the Egyptian moon god, Khonshu, and plans to claim the mutant Ten Sarbonor, the man who became known as Apocalypse, as the heir to his throne. Even though it's unlikely that this variant will appear during Quantum Mania, there is certainly scope for his MCU debut. Since he he shares a strong connection with Moon Knight's characters. Since Ramatut's rule over ancient Egypt was relatively short, and he eventually moved on to become Kang the Conqueror, it is unlikely that this variation of the character will appear in Quantumania. Since Kang the Conqueror is a future version of Ramatut, Quantum Mania could provide some backstory for the supervillain, perhaps giving audiences a glimpse of his time as Ramatut through flashbacks or another monologue, which the character has a tendency to do. It has been critical Criticized that Thanos MCU story does not provide much backstory. If Marvel Studios decides to flesh out Kang the Conqueror further, mentioning Ramatut would be a good place to start. Immortus as Immortus was the inspiration for He Who Remains in Loki, this particular variant of Kang has already been seen in the MCU. Kang was approached by the Timekeepers after years of battle and was asked to become their agent. In exchange for preserving timelines instead of conquering them, Kang was given immortality. Possibly resembling He Who Remains Citadel at the end of time, Kang rules over Limbo, an other dimensional realm. Kang's destiny is known to be Immortus before the Timekeepers eventually separate the two entities, allowing them both to live separately. This version of Kang is incredibly powerful, so the size-changing team will certainly be faced with plenty of challenges if it appears during Quantum Mania. Nevertheless, Immortus' story is more likely to have already been revealed in the MCU through He Who Remains, who follows the same story as his comic counterpart, albeit he is not the Timekeepers, but rather the man behind the curtain. Kang the Conqueror's time travel abilities, however, make it possible for Immortus to appear once again Again, Iron Lad. By time traveling to the future, Nathaniel Richards was saved from an attack that would have hospitalized him for years and transformed him into a villain. To inspire Nate, 
King takes his younger self through time to see his many battles and victories, but he only convinces Nate to avoid this destiny. When Nate steals King's armor and time travel technology, he returns to his own time and becomes the hero, Iron Lad, who later forms the Young Avengers. From Quantum Mania trailer, you can tell that this isn't the version of Kang that the heroes will face, but it doesn't mean that he won't appear in the movie either, since heroes such as Kate Bishop, Billy and Tommy Maximoff, Scar, and America Chavez have been introduced during Phase 4, it has been speculated that a Young Avengers team will be established before the end of the multiverse saga. It could be a major step towards a Young Avengers team-up if Iron Lad debuts during Quantum Mania. As Iron Lad in Marvel Comics eventually begins a romantic relationship with Cassie Lang, who will appear as Stature for the first time during Quantum Mania, it makes sense for Iron Lad to appear as a variant of Kang the Conqueror. Scarlet Centurion While Nathaniel Richards always seems to take a huge amount of inspiration from Doctor Doom, particularly with the acquisition of his time travel technology, this variant takes the extra step and bases his armor on the Latvian villain. In the beginning, the Scarlet Centurion turned the Avengers against every other enhanced individual on the planet before pitting them against themselves in another universe. He was a powerful villain who wanted to take over reality by using the Avengers as his pawns. It was an almost most unbeatable variant of King the Conqueror, with a rich and perhaps dramatic story that could be adapted for the MCU, the Scarlet Centurion also has an interesting connection to Ant-Man. The Scarlet Centurion pitted two teams against each other, but it was Henry Hank Pym, the hero Goliath, who shrank and manipulated the villain's time machine with his size-changing abilities. As a result, the Scarlet Centurion was unable to influence them anymore and was forced back into the time stream. Based on the red color of the Scarlet Centurion's armor, compared to the purple and green of Kang's armor in the trailer, there are signs that this variant won't appear in Quantumania. However, the fact that a different Hank Pym defeated the Scarlet Centurion suggests that Kang may not be as difficult for the ant-sized heroes to defeat as the Scarlet Centurion. The Marvel Comics series also features several variants of Kang the Conqueror, but Majors or Sawyer are unlikely to describe Victor Timely, the mayor of a small town in 1901, or Mr. Griffin, the CEO of Kung Enterprise prizes as warriors. In Quantum Mania, Kang is likely to appear in the form of a future conqueror. This character bears the most resemblance to the comic counterpart and is perhaps the most powerful and memorable version to battle the Avengers. Kang the Conqueror is set to develop even further after his appearance in Quantum Mania. His story is set to develop until the end of MCU. Is Multiverse Saga when the Kang Dynasty fights a monumental battle?